Today we're going to talk about the fiduciary duties that are owed by officers and directors of a corporation. Many people serve in the capacity as an officer or a director of a corporation, and that can include for-profit and non-profit corporations. And it's important to know the duties that you owe to the corporation when you sit in that capacity. There are two primary duties that we're going to talk about. The first is the duty of loyalty, and the second is the duty of care. So let's talk about the duty of loyalty. The duty of loyalty requires that the officer or director protect the interest of the corporation and always put the interest of the corporation ahead of that individual's personal interest. That means avoiding conflicts of interest. That means making sure that the individual is not using that seat as an officer or director to improperly or unfairly enrich themselves ahead of the interest of the corporation. If that happens, then that officer or director will be deemed to have breached that duty. In other words, breached the duty of loyalty to the corporation, particularly where the actions that the officer or director takes are injurious to the corporation and causes some damage or harm to the corporation. The other duty that we're going to talk about is the duty of care. It's a little bit easier for most people to understand the duty of loyalty. Avoid conflicts of interest, do the right thing, put the corporation's interest ahead of yours, and generally speaking, you will have fulfilled your duty, uh, the duty of loyalty. But the duty of care requires something a little bit more. The duty of care requires that when, when an officer or director is making decisions on behalf of the corporation, that that person gather all information available and use that information to make sound decisions. That means being deliberative in the decision-making process. That often means going out and seeking the advice of different professionals or experts. That may be accountants, that may be attorneys, or other professionals and experts depending on the nature of the issue that is being analyzed and eventually decided. The duty of care often means showing up to board meetings. It might also mean sitting on a committee or forming a committee in the first place to analyze a particular issue. But certainly it means being an informed person on the board or in the capacity as an officer of the corporation and not just showing up and making decisions uh, without having collected the necessary information to make good sound decisions. If you exercise both of these duties, the duty of loyalty and the duty of care, then it is likely that the officers and directors will be entitled to the benefit of what we call the business judgment rule. And the business judgment rule shields officers and directors from liability for making bad decisions. The courts will not go back and second guess decisions simply because they turned out to be bad. If one exercises the duty of loyalty, and the duty of care. There are two primary fiduciary duties, the duty of loyalty and the duty of care. The duty of loyalty requires that an officer or director protect the interests of the corporation ahead of their own personal interests. The duty of care requires that an officer or director uses all of the information available to make a sound decision on behalf of the corporation. This may include written materials or seeking the advice of experts. If officers and directors exercise both duties, then the courts will generally afford them the protection of the business judgment rule. They will likely be shielded from any liability for their decisions, even if they end up being bad business decisions. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of the 5-Minute Legal Master Series, where expert, board-certified attorneys help you master today's important legal topics.